Lupe K. Santos or the father of the Filipino grammar. He was a Filipino Tagalog language writer and a former senator of the Philippines. He is best known for his 1906 socialist novel, Banaag at Sikat, and his contribution for the development of the Filipino grammar and Tagalog orthography. His occupation are a writer, lawyer, and a politician. Pique Santos was born in Pasig, province of Manila. He was raised in Pandacan. Santos was sent to Escuela Normal Superior de Maestros for education and later finished schooling at Colegio Filipino. He also pursued law at Academia de la Jurisprudencia then at Escuela de Derecho de Manila. In 1903, Santos started publishing fragments of his first novel, Banag at Sikat or From Early Dawn to Full Light. In early 1910s, he started a campaign to promote a national language for the Philippines, where he organized various symposia and lectures and headed numerous departments for national language in leading Philippine universities. In 1910, he was elected governor of the province of Rizal under the Nationalista Party. In 1918, he was appointed as the first Filipino governor of the newly reserved Nueva Vizcaya until 1920. He was also appointed to the 5th Philippine Legislature as Senator from the 12th Senatorial District representing provinces having a majority of non-Christian population. For, in 1940, Santos published the first grammar book of the national language, Balarila ng Wikang Pambansa or the Grammar of the National Language, which was commissioned by the Surian ng Wikang Pambansa or the SWF. He was appointed by President Manuel Alcazan as director of SWF until 1946. He was also appointed to assist for the translation of inaugural addresses of Presidents of C. P. Laurel and Manuel A. Rojas. In the early 1960s, he underwent liver operations due to complications and Santos died on May 1, 1963. The Honorable Lope K. Santos on 1920 to 1921, he was the senator of the Philippines from the 12th district. He was appointed by Frances Harrison and preceded by Joaquin Luna and succeeded by Haji Batu. In 1918 to 1920, he was the third governor of Nueva Vizcaya, preceded by Tomas Madelia Senor and succeeded by Domingo Madelia. In 1910 to 1913, he was the fourth governor of Rizal. He was preceded by Jose Tupas and succeeded by Mariano Melendez. Banaag at Sikat The author is Lopi K. Santos and the country here in the Philippines. The language is Tagalog. The genre is fiction and the publication date is on 1906. The novel is about two friends, Delfin and Felipe. Delfin is a socialist while Felipe advocates the works of an anarchist. A socialist, Delphine believes and wishes to spread the principles of socialism to the public, where the citizens could have more right in all the businesses, properties, and other national activities. Although he is poor, who studies law and works as a writer for the newspaper, Delphine strongly believes that a society inclined to the cause of the poor through peaceful means a challenge that could be achieved through violence. On the other hand, Felipe, who advocates anarchy, believes that in the forceful way of destroying the existing powers and cruelty harbored by the rich landowners, he wants to dispel the abusive members of society who rule society. Even though he is the son of a rich town leader, Felipe hates the cruel ways of his father. He would rather see a society with equal rights and equal status for all its citizens, where there is no difference between the poor and the rich classes. And that would be all, and I am Ariel Mayandi Alino coming from the BSED Block 2A.